It absolutely feels great that we have come so far into this journey of building mobile apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the playlist of React Native Apps powered by Hashnode, the amazing platform to write your articles and blogs and share your knowledge. And it feels so great that we have come almost halfway into the journey from knowing nothing about mobile app development. We are here building our fifth portfolio apps and very soon we'll be moving into the complex direction of the apps as well. Almost all basics are covered within this app. In this app, I'll walk you through that how you can handle images. We'll learn how to read the documentation as well. And then in the next video, we will learn about the haptic feedback. So it's a pretty interesting. In the last video, I showed you that what we are about to build. So in case you haven't watched that, hit the playlist one back and you can go ahead and learn about what we are building in this one. So before we move anywhere, it's obviously a good idea that we talk about the images, that how we can incorporate images in the React Native app. Now, you don't have to go through with the entirety of documentation. I'll just mark some of the important points that you should really care about while having images in your app. And by the way, we'll restructure our app a little bit. So let me just go ahead and show you that part as well. So I'll just open up my React Native. And by the way, this is the fifth app that we are building. I almost forgot that we actually build an app in just one go in the one shot, a really long video. That was our fourth app. This is our fifth app. So uh, the background changer was the app that we actually worked on. So by the way, the repo link is in the description. You can check out all the source code and all the assets that we are going to be using in that. So I'll just have simply this roll the dice. I renamed it as to 05 and I have this assets. I'll go ahead and copy and paste this one. Uh, there is nothing interesting in this asset. You can use your own assets as well. So there's this two, there's this one, uh, six, you know, how the dice works. So just basic images that we have crafted and you can use them in your project as well. No problem at all. So we have got this one. So already this is up here. Now, not only that, we will actually create a new folder here as well. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. We are going to call this one as SRC. Where is that folder? Here it is doesn't got created src now this will be our major folder and what we're going to do is we're going to move app.tsx into this one the moment we move it obviously we need to uh, link it up so we need to update the import statement so yes go ahead and um, import that uh, what this will do is actually will hunt for all the files which are dependent on the app.js and will update its path that's a good feature of vs code that's why i love vs code it does so much of the things Notice here, uh, the source app, all these import libraries are being taken care of for me. And yes, I have tweaked this theme a little bit. I'll definitely try out to publish it soon. <laughs> Not right now. All right. So this looks great. And even our app builds nicely. So this is this uh, really great. Uh, we don't need this much of the things. So we're going to go up here and uh, I'll, I'll talk about what is this prop type and how the prop types and everything are being declared. So that is one thing. Uh, we'll just go up here. All right. Happens to everyone. <laughs> Probably I'm not in my good senses or something. Uh, yeah, I was just missing the text. So let me just show you what all we did so that you can also understand this. Uh, not a big deal. So our app is running fine and I'll walk you through with some of the documentation statements up here. Uh, but the long story short that we are having so much of the things. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Shouldn't have taken this much of the time <laughs> to actually clean this up. Uh, but what can I say? Sometimes things happen to even the best of us. Uh, we'll definitely talk a little bit about this props with children. So this is an interesting type that is being used in the React. So that's where our focus is going to be. Let's clean this up. We don't need this much of the spacing. There we go. We simply have a function which has an app which returns a JSX element. This is our JSX element that we return. We can only return one component and we have styles which are of no use. And we just have this much of the styling going up here. Now, this style, obviously, I'll provide it to you and you can download it from the GitHub as well. Uh, the styling part we have discussed in the second app quite a lot. So we have just the basic styling in case you want to go through with it. A simple container which moves everything to the center. A dice container which has some margin. A dice image. This is the most important part. When we use actual image, we need to provide some width and height. So this is there. And then we have some buttons. So buttons, there are a lot of ways how you can design the button and that's all what we are doing. So there is nothing much going on. We are not using them right now because we will use them a little bit later. Right now, our focus is actually on this one. So how do we use images in the React Native? And this is all the text and documentation we have to study about. So image is a component given to you directly by the React Native team and you can use the image. The most important thing that you have to remember is this source. 
Uh, this is different from the SRC that you are using in the image or images in the HTML. It's a bit different. I'll show you why and how it is different and you can just use it. It, it simply requires an object which says require and then you can simply just provide a path of the image. But this is not that easy in the React Native app. You'll see that why and how in a minute. But in case you are on the iOS, you can use the 2x and 3x. The images should be renamed like this. Check.png, check 2x, 3x. So automatically React Native will pull those higher quality images and will show them when the device actually support them. We don't have to do anything. It is mentioned up here as well. The bundler will bundle and serve the image corresponding to the device density. We don't have to worry about that. The most important thing is whenever you use or import these images, you might need to restart the bundler uh, in the projects, especially on Windows. So this is the most important part. Now, further down, you can see that we can use images. There are a lot of ways, goods and bad practices. Here is something interesting, which I have highlighted already for you so that you can focus. That most common file types are import, uh, supported here, like MP3, WAVE, MP4, HTML, PDFs in the bundler. So in case you want to use those non-static asset resources, uh, you have to actually uh, set a setting into the Metro bundler. Uh, so in case you are building an app like this, make sure you check out your bundler setting and more details can be clicked up here and can be seen up here. Uh, you can go ahead and just simply look onto this one. It's super, super easy. So there we go. Come on. Not allowing me to click <laughs> uh, because of this extension that I have. Uh, so I'll just delete this. So you can just click on this and simply get onto this link. Uh, there we go. Uh, so more on to this part a little bit that you can use some more stuff here as well. Uh, you can use the network images and everything like this. So that is also that can also be done. Uh, one more interesting thing before we move on, I would love to show you is this one that maybe sometimes there are images that comes up from the REST API calls and they are in the data format. Uh, you can actually go ahead and use this. Now, one final note before we go ahead. Uh, this is it. Source is an object. So you might notice that one interesting decision that has been taken in React Native is the source attribute is named as source. And it doesn't take a string, but an object. This was done so that it allows them to attach the metadata to this object. For example, uh, you can see they are giving a couple of examples that URI, but you can also output the image of crop, left, right, and all these things. Transparency. So that is all you need to know uh, before getting started into that part. Uh, so super easy. Now let's go ahead and try to import these images. This is where we are going to learn something new. Of course, the video is going to be tiny bit longer make sure you keep this props with children because in this video we will be using this as well all right so first let's go ahead and grab the images grabbing the images is super easy we're going to say that import and we're going to call this one as dice one and this image will be coming up from uh, one directory back into the assets and then we have this uh, one one dot png and you might notice that it is going to give you error and how you can import the images into your React Native app. The process is streamlined. It's a repeatable process. You can repeat that as many times as you want. But you'll notice that this is giving you problem. The dice one is declared, but it's a way, it's a value being never being read. And it's corresponding type declaration. So this is a TypeScript special error that will actually uh, simply say that, hey, you are not allowed because I don't know what the type of this, all the things are and all that. So we have to declare these images as a module. Uh, you can refer to my TypeScript uh, entire series in case you are on to that. But let me show you how you can resolve this error. It's really simple. Just create a new file and we're going to call this one as simply index.d.ts. Uh, the name of the file is really important for declaring it as a module. And all you have to do is simply say declare module. And in the string, we are saying that, hey, I want to have all these PNG images. Once you have this, uh, then you notice automatically this uh, error goes away. It's almost like saying that, hey, we are aware that there is a data type of PNGs that will be coming up. We'll be naming them as a variable. This is a kind of a TypeScript thing. So you learn one more thing in that. It's repeatable. Whenever you are going to import the images, you have to declare that as a module. Ways can be different, different but this is you have to do. So we have to bring in the images. So this is dice one. Uh, we have to go ahead and have a two, three, four, five, and six. And now let's go ahead and change this one. So this one will be two. And then we need to have three as well. Three, then we need to have four. Four, we need to have five. 
and then we will be having six all right so step one is complete uh, we have imported all the images we have successfully understood that how this can be or this should be included as the module and all these things are included all right now one more thing that we need to do is learn about this props with children so this is a very very interesting thing uh, this is actually kind of a way of utilizing the typescript that how you declare the type of a variable so it's not always like variables are being declared sometimes there are other data types or other values or maybe a component is being declared this is where we are going to be using this props with children so this is the first time we are actually using it so let's go ahead and declare a type here okay so notice this carefully i'm saying that i'm declaring a type again this is a typescript special we're going to call this one as a dice uh, props so whenever i'm going to create a component dice the properties which i'm going to pass inside the dice this will be dice props how we can go ahead and use this we are going to go ahead and say props with children so this is the syntax of how you go ahead and work on with there we go it's a generalized syntax these diamond brackets are for generalized you might have studied them in the templates as well in c or something but here what we're going to do is we're going to pass on an object inside this and we'll say that hey i'll pass you an image url and this will be of type image if it can suggest me image source prop type all right so this is what we have okay now another problem is i cannot find what is this image uh, source prop type uh, this is definitely an issue that it doesn't know what this image source prop type and all these things and why does it even exist on the first place okay uh, so let's go ahead and solve this one so this image source prop type let me show you what this is and together we're going to read the docs as well this is something which is given to you by the react native by default and this is a serious serious prop type that you can actually utilize if you just command click on it or control click on it you get onto the definition that you can now have image from the source resource you can pass on an image array a required source uh, there's a lot that is being given to you and by the way you can go ahead and read about this here as well in case you want to do a little bit more digging up into it but this is an exact syntax okay so now this is all happy so what we have done let me summarize that quickly we have imported all these image declared them as a module okay part one is clear then we simply said that hey i will declare the type that whenever i'll create a dice component in that i want to pass on images now you can directly pass on images as well but this is actually a better approach uh, this is actually an error prone approach you actually face less error into this part okay now let's go ahead and create a component which is going to be dice which accept props that prop will be image yes by one by means 100 percent you can pass on directly images but this is a way better approach of doing the things okay so let's just say that we have this uh, dice as a component now this component is going to go like this and uh, there we go now inside this i'll say that hey i will have an object so i'll first of all uh, destructure it like this so i'll say image url now once i have this i have to mention that this is of type this is exactly what i've done otherwise you can pass on any url here any string it will accept it then what's the point of using the typescript uh, yes it will work if you're using regular javascript you can go ahead and pass on any image url which will be any string but this special declaration of uh, dice prop and making it a type of image source prop type will make sure that this is whatever the source is coming in that is an image i hope now it makes sense okay so we'll say that hey this will come up as image url and i'll mention its type as well which is uh, the dice props okay now what will happen is this dice will return us as a component and we just saw that whenever we want a component we always say that it's a jsx element that is getting returned back so from this also the jsx element will return uh, you can go ahead and work on without this as well you can directly you don't have to do this much of the drama and circus uh, directly pass on a string and directly don't even write this that's okay but this is a good practice somebody will definitely appreciate that hey you have taken an extra mile and have make sure that you are utilizing the typescript to its best all right now all we're going to do go ahead and do is return and let's return like this and we simply say that hey i'll just grab a view just like this and inside the view we are simply saying that i want to load an image image there we go and uh, there there we go now in this image obviously uh, we will be passing on a style uh, no we won't be passing on a source yes you can directly pass on a source 
but let me show you how we're going to do this. I'll simply go ahead and say I'll pass on a style just like this. And there will be saying styles dot dice image. Now, just quickly uh, for a second, uh, first notice here, we are passing on this dice image. This is the important. A lot of people make mistake. You have imported the URL and everything, but you forgot to provide the width and height of this. This is the most important. That is why the only thing mentioned up here is here. And make sure you do this first. And after this, you provide a source. Okay source there we go we studied source about it and we simply go ahead and pass on an image url okay revising this concept so we have this image is this self-closing why is it having issue cannot find name image you should be no it's not gonna find there we go uh comma okay this is all good looks all happy okay let me summarize what we have done so far and in the next video we'll definitely cover this up. Let me summarize this. This will take a little bit time for you to adjust and digest. The only thing that we did, apart from messing up in the initial part, is we imported all these images. Great. And after importing all these images, we found that it was giving us an error because it didn't know that there is an image you can import like this. So we worked on the index.d.ts, which is a declaration of a module that, hey, bring in all the PNG type of image. If you have more, you can just declare more modules here. And then we were allowed or it was not bothered that much that we are importing image and holding them into a variable. That's great. After that, we started working on this props with children. So what happens is uh, many times you pass on props into element, just like we studied in the image documentation that you can pass on any string and that could be a link, a URL of an image. But what's the guarantee that this URL will produce an image? It might just be a simple URL at HTML page or something. This is being stopped by this image URL, which is explicitly mentioned as image source prop type. Since we are utilizing the TypeScript, you can just click on this and see that it automatically verifies that the export type should be image URL source uh, or it should be a list of or image require source or something like that. Only out of these values will be adjusted here. Otherwise, it will not accept. Then we created a simple component which accepts this prop, obviously image URL of type dice props and simply returns a JSX element. You don't need to do all of this. You can just simply say, hey, I'll directly create a dice component in which I'll pass on a string and that string will be loaded into the source URL. Surely, go ahead, do that. Uh, there's no problem in that. Once we have done all of this, now we can simply go ahead and load this module, but there will be a couple of issues now before we actually run and render this. Because if I go ahead and render this directly, right now there is no image onto that. That, that will uh, simply go ahead and create a problem. So what we'll do in the next video, We'll simply have a state, we'll provide a default image in that, and we'll work there. All right, quite a long video already. Let's move on into the next video and uh, try to implement this. Let's catch up in the next one.